Hey guys, what's up? It's Friday. It's a little past midnight. I just got home a little while ago. Came home, and when I walked in the apartment here, I heard, like, sounded like water dripping. And I said, is that water dripping? And I was like, it sounds like it's coming from the bathroom. I said, maybe, maybe, maybe the faucet was on. Well, I look up, it's coming from the ceiling. And here's what I find. I find this square with paint peeled off and dripping. And I hear water running. Apparently the guy upstairs is taking a shower and it was leaking through. So I had my stuff here draining. You can see the paint peeled off there, fell off there. And um, yeah, so who knows if, if there is a leak somewhere, something's not sealed properly. So I just went upstairs and I knocked on the guy upstairs door and I said to him, I told him what happened. He's like, oh no, he goes, I'm so sorry. I said, no, 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 don't apologize. It's not your fault. You didn't know. I said, apparently maybe something is not sealed right. That could be the reason why maybe it's, that's where the leak is coming from. But uh, I called to see what happens tomorrow. Find out, and he said he's gonna stay clear from the shower. And I said, I'll let him know. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here that's, it's just going crazy. I found out today from my neighbor across the way that has the kids, somebody broke, got into their car and took his sneakers and stole his pair of sneakers out of his car. So people were going through to a certain part of the town and past the town going in people's cars and taking stuff. Then, uh, the other guy across from me said to me that this morning he was leaving for work and he saw two guys come from the back where the grass is over there. They came through that way, the back way, and they came through here or the parking lot. He said he was leaving to work and saw that. I'm like, so this is something is, it's just so crazy. Like things are going on. It's just nuts. And also I asked um, the guy upstairs if his heat's work and he said he hasn't turned it on yet to say, I told him, well, it sparks. I don't know. I don't know what the electrician did. And speaking of which, with the electricity, I told him about what they had to do, that these were on separate lines, the bolt lights. He says, oh, mine's on separate light too. So apparently the guy upstairs before him didn't have the landlord change it over. I don't know why. Um, because apparently, again, the electrician, I think he screwed up. He screwed up everything. Hey there, it's Saturday. And I'm on my way to church to drop stuff off at the dumpster. And a couple of bins I'm dropping off at the church. See if Sue wants them. I'm heading to Salvation Army to drop off the rest of the stuff that I have for sale, which I have no time to deal with anymore. And considering the fact that if any nothing hasn't been selling on any of the platforms I've been selling on for the last, gee, I would say, five months now, it's just... Let's try this again. I almost hit some woman. The woman pulled right, right out in front of me. Right before I just got in church. Unbelievable. She said she had a lot of things in her mind. I said, well, be careful. You gotta watch where you're going. Anyways. Um... Yeah, that just like completely threw me off. Yep. Well, there's the rest of everything that I own that I'm getting rid of. My parents. John Wayne plate, gold plate, some of my envelopes I was shipping this stuff in. Cake board, Tupperware kind of container. That is it. So I might have mentioned this early in the vlog, and I don't remember, so I'm going to say it again. If not, I'll edit it out. This morning, I had planned to wake up early, which I did. I woke up about 4 o'clock, and I had to get everything ready because I was actually going to this yard sale, and it was the last one of the year, actually. It's been for months, but I hadn't got around to it. Uh, Sue and Carrie did it, and they did it a few times, but I said... I didn't know about it and I said, oh great. But then I found out it was the last, today was the last day. So I had everything all ready to go. And I wind up waking up to 
a discovery of one of my accounts that I have that somebody mass reported my videos completely. My whole account, entire account was reported in violating community guidelines. And I don't know why, I don't know who did it. And I was really disgusted. So I actually had to appeal each video. And I was just like, I can't really believe it. So I had to take care of that. So then by the time that was over and done with, I hopped in the shower and I didn't get out to almost like 8.30. So I said, we had to set up already because it starts at nine. I said, there is no way I'm going to make it. So I decided my last resort was to get rid of everything. And I made that decision right away. And I said, I even texted you. I said, good morning. I said, I am not going to make this thing. I said, I have everything ready, but I'm not going to be able to get a chance to set up from time. So I said, it looks like it's going to be going to the Salvation Army, which is, like I said, the last resort. And she says, okay, it was just, I just got there in time. But like, speaking of which, as you guys saw, oh, I almost hit that woman. And the woman pulled out in front of me. She wasn't, she said she wasn't paying attention. She said she had a lot of things on her mind. I said, you got to be careful. I said, because you could have killed us both. You got it. And I told her, you got to be careful, you know, just be careful next time. And I wasn't yelling at her or anything. I was just like, you got to be careful. Just, I'm sorry. I said, no, it's okay. It's all right. Just, I said, God forbid. But that's another thing that hindered me from bringing this stuff from getting rid of it. First, I couldn't get to, to the sale. Second, I almost hit that woman, even though I did was watching where I was going, but I was paying attention. She just like didn't stop. And I slammed my brakes. So, you know, and then by the time I got here, I almost didn't make it in time that they take the donations because if they have too much, like the bin that they have is overfill, they're going to have to reject it. So luckily I made it in time, but cause it was actually overflowing. So thank God. But it seems like the enemy wants to keep me bound to these things. He doesn't want me to sell these things. He doesn't want me to get rid of these things. He doesn't want me to let, just let go. And that's the problem. That's why I didn't sell anything for the last five months. That's why I didn't really do anything with them. But I needed to get rid of them. I mean, it's too much. And I'm just really over and done with it. And I need. that's why today was the breaking point for me. It's either sell them. Now I can't. I'm getting rid of them. At whatever expense, I have to. And I did. Praise God, I got over it. it. That crap is gone. And these bins here, whatever I got left is going to the church. I'm going to give them to the Sue. Whoever wants them, they want to pay me, whatever, I don't care. Just take them. Just take them. They need them, take them. I'm going to mention about the apartment. Now, my landlord contacted me yesterday, email, and he said that, they're coming to inspect all the apartments on Monday. So I am thinking they have to, because if stuff like that's going to happen, then they have to take care of it. The heat is also going to be addressed as well. Now I'm at Walmart because I don't know. I was supposed to get something. I was going to be at the Walmart that I was supposed to do the sale at. But now I can't remember what it is. I'm just like, I'm just happy these things are out of my life. <laughs>